everybody welcome back to another reading vlog because so I thought I would vlog this week I started on a Thursday I have no clue why but that's okay we'll just make it like Thursday to Thursday sure why not <laughs> so um I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna read this week what I'm planning to read hopefully we'll just see with um especially with this quarantine I'm just taking it day by day as far as reading goes I'm really I have a TBR that I set but I'm also reading a ton of ebooks which I'll talk about soon but yeah let's say I actually want to talk about you today is the shirt I'm wearing so this is not a sponsored video at all but Thread Tank which is a company based in LA decided to send me a few shirts for me to talk about and to wear and share with you guys and if you don't know I'm a very basic girl like my outfit of choice every day all day no matter what is usually a t-shirt and leggings that's just how I am I like comfy I like casual and I've embraced it I used to really loathe that about myself now I'm just like it's okay you can find cute t-shirts but anyways they sent me four shirts or I picked out four shirts the one I'm wearing today says reading is my jam and I love it because it reminds me of Parks and Rec in this episode where Leslie Nope is filling out her dating profile and Anne asks her like you know what are your hobbies and she's like you know jamming on my planner and I'm like I relate to that on so many different levels hobbies organizing my agenda wait that doesn't sound fun um jamming on my planner so reading is my jam as well as planning. Um, the other bookish shirt I have that I'm going to share with you today it says well read because hopefully I am well read and then I have two that are kind of not bookish but really adorable. This one says yes this one says yeah. say yes to new adventures it's got a mountain on it with arrows it's really cute and I also love this one it says strong is beautiful. I love them all they're really comfortable they're long which I love in t-shirts. Um, they are based in LA they have different collections like I said they have a bookish collection they have an inspired collection a dog mom collection like a wine collection a coffee collection football like game day any sort of t-shirt that you like I love graphic t-shirts especially so I love this site so I highly recommend you check it out I believe I have a coupon code for 10% off I'll link it down below again this is not sponsored at all I just want to share with you some awesome t-shirts because I know a lot of people like myself love casual t-shirts as well so let's get into reading oh I left the book I'm reading outside um, so the book I have just started is the happy ever after playlist by Abby Hamezen and I'm already 50 pages into it I think and I am really loving it I liked her first book the friend zone it wasn't the best but I didn't love it it wasn't the best I liked it I didn't love it I can already tell I think I'm gonna really love the happy ever playlist it's actually a continuation of that series it follows a character that was in um, the friend zone I'll talk about it more but that's an adult chiclet type of book the other book I'm planning to read is the big finish by Brooke Fossey this one is about like an old guy that goes on an adventure with a young girl as like friends and everything it says like it's very similar to like a man called Uwe which is one of my favorite books so I'm very excited to read this one I haven't heard anybody really talk about it and it is it's not quite lengthy and then the last physical book I want to check out is Girl Gone Viral by Alicia Rye this is the continuation to the right swipe like there's a lot of contemporary series that are out there but they're really just like a continuation so if you want to read this book on its own you can if you want to read the happy ever play this on its own you can but it is part of a series like there will be characters that will pop in from different books of theirs I don't know those are all the physical books I'm reading I'm actually I've been e-reading a lot which I usually do not do but I have just been on NetGalley a ton <laughs> and that's a good and bad thing so I have already read a few ebooks but books that I have in my um ebook library there's a lot um I have the spare bedroom by Elizabeth Neep this one comes out in May I believe. I have Head Over Heels by Hannah Ornstein. I also have Ghosting A Love Story by Tosh. I can't see the last name. I also have um, an arc of I Was Told It Would Get Easier by Abby Waxman. This is the only author in this whole ebook that I've actually read a book from so I'm excited for that one. And then I have Paris Is Always a Good Idea by Jen McK McKinley. I think I also have another one too that I just got from NetGalley. Yes, I have The Night Swim. I have a thriller. So all the other books I talked about were like kind of adult chick -lit -y books. Then I have The Night Swim, which is a um, mystery thriller by Megan Golden. They're all right here. Will I read all of them this week? Absolutely not. I'm hoping to get read two or three. We'll have to see. I have been reading a ton lately with this quarantine. I'm just home all the time um, and things like that. So this week is going to be like every other week with my vlogs um, with just, you know, kid life, mom life, stuff like that. If you're interested in that, great. 
stick along for the ride. I can guarantee these won't be like anything amazing or stuff like that. It's just going to be, you know, everyday life. And if you like that, hopefully like this vlog. But I'll update you soon on the Happy Ever playlist. I can tell you right now, I'm already like really loving it because it's just adorable. But quick update time. So I actually have some free time, which is very rare for me normally and especially not normally with this quarantine because I'm with Noah all the time and Matt is working from home but he has to be like secluded. Matt and I try to do this thing where like um, after dinner every night one of us will like watch Noah or spend time with him, play with him and stuff while the other parent can um, you know do whatever they want whether it be like work or just chilling or just have some alone time because that is important. On the weekends we're definitely all family time and we're together a lot anyways but we've done this for forever. It's just really helpful especially to me because I'm with Noah 24 7 so it's good for me sometimes to like just take a break they're outside playing right now and it's good some night a lot of nights i'm not gonna lie to you i work i'll either and i'm doing it tonight honestly i just work it's just how i am but tonight i'm relaxing watching my favorite trash tv jersey shore because i don't ever watch trash tv this is the only trash tv i watch and I've liked it for forever and I'll rewatch it every once in a while when I have like really just as bad anxiety with everything that's going on right now. And yeah, it's trash, I know, but I freaking love it. Um, and I'm also gonna eat some ice cream because I haven't had ice cream in a while, strawberry cheesecake. Um, I'm gonna try to read a little bit, but honestly, I'm probably just gonna watch this, eat some ice cream and work, like reply to comments, emails, you know, whatever. But yeah, that's my update for today. I'm gonna go watch my trash TV and stuff like that. Sorry, you probably saw this huge vanity in the background. That's our vanity for our bathroom. Um, that's just chilling in here right now. Hopefully we'll go in this weekend. And speaking of the bathroom, a lot of you guys have asked like, um, what, how is it going? Cause if you don't know, we are um, renovating our really small bathroom that we have. Matt is doing it all himself and I'll update you tomorrow on that. And not a lot to happen, but some's happened. So that's good. Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. So I thought I would just come in here and update you really quick. Um, I am on page 150 of the Happy Ever playlist. I'm loving it so much, so I'm taking my time with it, and I shouldn't because I really want to finish it today, and it's almost a 400-page book, but I honestly think I'm going to finish it today. I need to with reading my other books. Sorry, that's my kit. But I thought I would update you on our bathroom situation. So again, if you don't know, um, we are redoing our very small bathroom in our bedroom. Um, I'm going to show you what it looked like before. Um, this is what it looks like. Right now, sorry, the sun is very bright. So, um, just to clarify, that's our original floor. So if you get an idea, that's what it looked like. I'll do some overlays of what it did look like. So what Matt has done so far is there used to be tile all over here. He's demoed that completely, which took so long. Um, then he had to put wood down on the floor because of the gap with the tile, which took a while. Then he put up drywall, which is this stuff and then he had to mud it with the places where the drywall meet and holes and things like that was all whatever um he also has put up a new light fixture thank goodness because we had a really creepy one <laughs> he has to put drywall there so yeah this weekend if i'm honest with you i'm not sure what he's doing i think he's going to sand all of the mud and then he i don't know if he's gonna paint first or put a beadboard which beadboard is like shiplap that's the best way i can describe it but hopefully we'll get a good chunk of stuff done this weekend or he will i'm not doing it but yeah that's our update in the bathroom right now noah just had his teletherapy session online with his speech therapist which went okay and fridays i'm a little bit chill with the school i'm honestly very chill with the school schedule but um fridays especially so i'm guessing i'm probably gonna clean a lot today i'm gonna do that every day read a lot be outside a lot it's cold right now, but it's going to hit to 75, which I'm very grateful for. But yeah, that's going to be my day today. Probably a lot of montages. Sorry if you hate that. I love them. <laughs> my dog cake because I figure we should have her here as I review the happily ever after 
the happy ever after. Gosh, sorry. This is cake. I need you to sit up. Are you that tired from your walk? She's going to lounge because we just got back from a walk. So, like I said, I just finished the Happy Ever After playlist by Abby Himezen. I really enjoyed it. I would give it a four out of five. It was basically about this woman named Sloane, and she lost her fiance two years ago, and she's been very depressed and desolate ever since. And then, by a random chance of coincidence, as she's driving down the road one day, like a dog's in the middle of the road, and she stopped. And the dog jumps through. What is it? My hair that's making you itch. Um, and, her, and the dog jumps through her sunroof, and she takes him home and everything. And she learns that he's microchipped, and she tries to contact his owner for like two weeks, but he doesn't reply. And then finally, he does. Turns out the owner's name is Jason, and he's a musician, and he's on tour in Australia. And he's like, right, you know, my dog bag I got out. And so, basically, they strike up like a text conversation, and then it becomes flirty, and then they finally meet and fall in love. And it's all about grief and dealing with the second love after you've lost your first one. And obviously, it has dogs to the forefront in it. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. I say the first. First half was definitely a five out of five for me. I loved it, but the second half, when like she went on tour with him as a musician, it got really kind of bland. But I really like how it discovered love after grief and dealing with that. And this is kind of a companion sequel novel to The Friend Zone by Abby Hamezen, which I read last year. I liked it. I didn't love it, so I would say. If you didn't like that book that much, this one is definitely, it's much more lighter tone, it's happier, it's really cute. I love how each chapter has a song and a playlist, and at the end of the book, the whole playlist is there. But yeah, it was adorable. I really enjoyed it. I'll take it for now. I finished a book for it if I would recommend it. I liked it, especially if you're a dog lover. Really cute dog. update for today. I was supposed to start The Big Finish by Book Frosty, but I started it and I just, I, it's not, I don't think it's me a bad book at all. Sorry, the sun flare is real. I don't think it's me a bad book at all, but I'm just not feeling it right now. Like that one's going to be a very serious, like hard hitting topic type of book. And I'm just I'm not into that right now. I haven't been into that for quite some time. Um, so I decided since I read the Happy Ever um, playlist, I thought, you know, that's kind of a chiclety type of book. Let me go ahead and read two more so I can film a master read. That's kind of how my brain works. I know that's weird. I like to read books by genres by three because I just like to review them. That's just how I am in case you don't know my reading taste. So I'm going to read Girl Gone Viral, but I think before I read that, I'm going to read The Worst Best Man by Mia Soso, which came out a couple months ago. I've heard really good things about it. It's super cute, apparently, so I'm going to try starting it tonight. I'm also still reading a lot of ebooks. I'll talk to you more about that tomorrow. My ebook collection is insane right now, but again, I'll share with you what's on there. But yeah, that's my update for tonight, Friday. If you can hear, my son's listening to music on the swing, and... My husband is sanding the, the mud on the drywall. I don't know, construction stuff.
So this is my friend Stephanie that's in my Bible study that actually gifted me the cast iron skillet. Monday, I don't know if you can hear, but it's raining. I'm in my sunroom, so the roof's a little bit different. So enjoy this nice ASMR. Here, you can hear the rain. Very relaxing, though very cold. Um, I wanted to update you. So yesterday I didn't vlog. Sorry, we were just doing a lot of like yard work, and Matt was working on the bathroom a lot. But I did finish two books. I know I'm reading a ton lately. I finished The Worst Best Man by Mia So. So this is the one I just randomly sporadically picked up. Um, overall, I did really enjoy it. I would give it a four out of five. Um, and this book is all about weddings. I love weddings. I'm a wedding photographer, even though I haven't shot a wedding at all this year yet. Thanks, COVID. Um, but um, this follows a character named Lena or Carolina, but she's known as Lena, and she is a wedding planner. The book starts with her wedding day. She's getting married to this guy named Andrew, and then his brother comes in. He's like, yeah, Andrew's not coming. He wanted me to, like, break up with, um, he wanted me to tell you that he's not coming. Apparently it was something, like, I said last night, but he was drunk, so he couldn't remember. So basically the wedding's canceled, and Lena is very heartbroken. So now we pick up many years later where, um, Lena is a wedding planner, um, and she gets this opportunity at this like really famous hotel group to be like the exclusive planner for them but she has to work with a marketing person to like do the pitch to get this job and who's the marketing person that she's teamed up with none other than her ex-fiance's brother who she loathes because she blames him for like the not happening of her wedding so they two them have they have to work together to kind of like pitch and like get this job hopefully and basically feelings emerge it's like a hate to love romance and I really enjoyed it I love seeing the relationship between Lena and Max develop because it was very kind of hatred at first but then they grow and she forgives I also love because she's Brazilian there was a lot of um Brazilian culture and foods and things like that and I always love learning about different cultures a ton I loved her family in it and overall it was cute it was adorable um I would definitely recommend it it does have a little bit of steamy time in it not a ton but if you like weddings, things like that, I would definitely check out this series because this will be a series. I believe the next book is going to be Max's best friend's Dean's story, which I'm interested in. I thought it was going to be about his brother Andrew, but I'm like, I don't even care about that guy because what guy leaves? I don't know. Anyway, but I mean, there's not much to say about this. This is a cute chiclet. I would recommend it. I liked it. So there's that. I also finished another net galley book. Um, I'm not going to talk about, about my net galley books too much because I'm planning to do like a whole video of like all the net galley books I've read recently if you're unfamiliar with net galley you're like what are you talking about net galley is a site where you can use if like you're a reviewer um things like that publisher um basically you can request arcs um advanced copies of books and you have to read it and review it and things like that um I've used it for years. There's some times where I don't use it, where I do. I'm really in a big phase of using it right now because of the time that I have to read. So with that, I have a whole bunch of books on my net galley, like in my Kindle that I need to read. So my whole plan is to read all of them and like do one big video because a lot of the books I'm reading don't come out for many months, which I usually don't do that. But with net galley, you kind of have to. So yeah, I did finish one, which I will talk briefly about. <laughs> Out because like I said I'm gonna do a video I know I'm spieling longly too much I finished head over heels this is what it looks like I'll also put it right here by Hannah Orenstein and I enjoyed it I gave it a three out of five this is about a girl that's a gymnast and she was like a top gymnast she made it to like the Olympic trials and everything when she was like 17 and then she got injured during that and her gymnastics crew is pretty much over so we follow her many years later when she's like 27 and she is just really still trying to figure out her life because she had put so much of her life into being like a gymnast to being like an olympian and she has to move back home and then she starts working with this guy she used to have a crush on also a fellow gymnast and training another young um teenage girl that wants to be an olympian and that's about like it's just about her starting over i, I really like the whole gymnast 
perspective because I haven't read a book about a gymnast and just the rigorous things they have to go through. Oh my gosh, any sport really. But with Olympics in particular, it's like brutal. I did like it. It was just kind of slow. The romance wasn't really there, but that's okay. I gave it a three out of five. I enjoyed it. Again, I'm going to talk more about it. I mean, there's so many Nat Alley books I have to read. What book I'm starting? I left it in the other room. What do you know? It's The Girl Gone Viral. It's called Girl Gone Viral by Alicia Rye. Um, again, I'm expecting to like it, cutesy. I've been reading a lot of Chiclet this month, which is good, but I'm also getting kind of bogged down by it, which I don't say a lot with that genre at all, but I'm gonna read that, let you know what I think about it. Also, I'm gonna try to read some more Neck Alley books, things like that, Neck Alley arcs, whatever you wanna call them. This is a long clip. <laughs> but yeah, a rainy day, much to my dismay, because usually we spend a lot of time outside, so. Or just homeschooling, things like that. Fun stuff, you know, typical everyday stuff. Hopefully I'll be back later with some book mail because my book mail is finally coming in today. So I'm very excited about that. So hopefully I'll check in later. I'm also wearing a Dunder Mifflin shirt because you always have to represent the office. So this is Noah's new little tent that my mom got him because he likes sitting in things. So <laughs> yeah, it's cute. We like it a lot. He hasn't loved it yet, but he likes going in there for snacks and watching things. But look how comfy it looks. It's really adorable. <laughs> Can you say hi? Hi. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. It is, oh, what day is this? Tuesday. It's not even 4 p.m. and it's already been a day. Um, I guess, you know, it's, it's been a while. Um, yeah, today it's just not been a good day and that's okay to admit that. Noah has, it's, it's been a rough, rough day with him. It's been a rough week. We're really, he's really feeling this quarantine and he's acting out and it's just, it's really hard right now and it's taking a big emotional toll out of me. So it's just been a day, but that's okay. Hopefully tomorrow will be better. I filmed today, that's why I look decent, because otherwise I do not feel decent. <laughs> um, I am still reading Girl Gone Viral. My reading has slowed down immensely. I think I'm just, I'm not getting in a slump. I'm getting in a little bit of, I think I've just been reading so much and I'm kind of coming down from that high, which is totally natural, but I'm still on track to finish this. I'm on page 100, I think. And I just started a thriller ebook last night. No one's eating chips, if you hear that. <laughs> um, and I just started it, so I literally don't know how I feel about it yet. But yeah, that's that. So yeah, today, hoping the rest of the day goes okay. I'm gonna, I don't know what else I'm gonna do. We're hopefully gonna have the rest of a good night, hopefully, and just anyway. So today, you know, not every day is gonna be great. If you think my life is picture perfect, believe you me, it's not. I don't show you a lot of the ins and out with Noah's autism and that's okay because it's personal and it's private so but just know there are a lot of days where it's just really really rough so yeah that's my update for today hopefully tomorrow I will update you my book mail is still not here it's just circling the city for some reason it should be here tomorrow fingers crossed so I can tell you what books I've bought recently and yeah tomorrow will be a better day I can hope and pray <laughs> happy Wednesday um, today is already a lot better sorry for give cleaning laundry all that fun stuff I thought I would update you with the bathroom I know if you're like sick of, talk of me talking about the bathroom I'm sorry I'm excited about it it's a big deal for us so Matt has worked really hard on it and I'm gonna show you what it looks like right now so we got some paint on the wall. So this paint color is actually what's in Noah's room. It's kind of like a navy blue. This whole, we're going with like a nautical theme. So this is beadboard, in case you're wondering. Kind of looks like shiplap. Um, he will put like a top on this, crown molding. Don't take my word for it. <laughs> but it's gonna have a top on it. Um, yeah, this is what it looks like right now. He did put like a piece of flooring in that's laminate floor so that's what it'll look like just so we can kind of see so it's gonna be really pretty i think it's a small bathroom but we can make it really pretty we're doing right now so i'm really excited about it i don't think he'll finish this weekend but i think it'll be functional um as in the toilet will be put in and the sink and all that stuff so i'm really excited about it um yeah i'm cleaning a lot today i did finally get my book mail yay so i'm gonna share with you that very soon but yeah let me go on to get to cleaning it's only 8 a.m and i'm already cleaning 
I am a morning person. I can get my most energy is like from 7 a.m. to like 11 p.m. and then I'm just like, oh, I don't want to do anything. So I'm a big morning person. So yeah, cleaning at 8 a.m. That's that's how I do things. As promised, I am back with my book mail. So I ordered a couple books like two weeks ago and they just got here. I'm not complaining at all. Um, it sounded like I was and I'm sorry it was. I know Amazon and all them are working a lot so I'm thankful I got the books when I did. So I ordered two books and I wanted to share with you what they are. First up is The Hunting Party by Lucy Foley. So if you don't know I read Lucy Foley's newest book um, this month actually like a few weeks ago. The Guest List. I gave it a five out of five. I love it. It was a great thriller. I would highly recommend it. So as soon as I read that and learned that she had another book, I was like, I immediately have to buy it. So, so I bought it. This is The Hunting Party. It's kind of the same vein of The Guest List, where The Guest List was all about this wedding on this remote island and people got invited. Guests were invited and somebody's dead and you don't know who died or who killed. This is kind of the same way where it's like a hunting party and New Year's reunion is in the remote Scottish wilderness. Somebody is a murderer and somebody won't make it out alive. So it's got that kind of vein. She writes kind of very similar to Agatha Christie I've heard which is like you know the queen of mystery which I should probably read like Agatha Christie book. I know there's Murder on the Orient Express that's really good. There's also um and then there were none. If you know a great one I think the if you know a great one of hers let me know which one I should read because I want to and I know her books are kind of considered classics and I've said I'm not like the biggest classic fan but I really want to try to read like a mystery classic if you will. So yeah I bought this. I'm super excited for it and yeah um, that's <laughs> like that's the reason I bought it. And then I also read The Southern's Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires this month as well by Grady Hendrick and I really enjoyed it so I immediately bought My Best Friend's Exorcism by him and he I've known about Grady Hendrick for a while whereas Lucy Foley is completely oh goodness sorry whereas Lucy Foley is a completely new author to me but Grady Hendrix has also written Horror Store it's kind of like an Ikea like it's very like an Ikea catalog that's kind of scary he's written some other books but after reading um, the Southern Book Clubs, I just loved it and I heard very good things about this one. And I'm so happy I got the paperback copy because I don't love the hardback copy, the original one. I'll show it to you right here. This version is stunning. It's designed like an old VHS tape. And if you, you know, <laughs> it's so weird that I think a lot of us in our 30s really love the 90s. We really miss it because that was, I think, the time before social media got really big. And I know social media is great and it's caused a lot of great things in everybody's lives including mine with this channel but you know the 90s was kind of like the last decade before social media and like computers and technology got really big you know. In the 90s when I grew up um, there was no like cell phones really like it wasn't accessible to you that much there was no you know um, Facebook and stuff. It, was, it was just a different time and I think a lot of people really grasp towards the 80s and 90s, myself included. I just really, it's nostalgic for me because I think we connected more. I don't know. It's a whole other thing. <laughs> I know my fellow 30 something year olds out there can feel me with loving the 80s and 90s, but I love how this is designed like a VHS tape because I grew up on them jigs. <laughs> I had all a lot of them but this is you know very reminiscent of an 80s kind of horror movie I mean there's just I mean look at this it looks like a straight 80s horror movie we even have VHS right there this thing if you remember the sticker on it um, I just think even the back it says this book packs all the magic of a summer horror flick it's great um, so this book takes place in 1988 which coincidentally is the year I was born <laughs> and um, we follow um, two high school sophomores Abby and Gretchen and they think one of them is like a freaking like they think they're one of them is being possessed by like a demon so they have to do this exorcism. I don't know. Um, I'm excited to read it and check it out. It'll probably scare me like the other one but I do know this is set in the same neighborhood and stuff as the Southern Book Club's guide. That was not a sequel at all. It's just kind of set in the same vein if you will but either way Oh goodness. Either way, I ordered these two books because I enjoyed books by the same author so so much. So I'm happy about that. They're both backlist. Happy about that. And yeah, I don't know when I'm going to read them but I love both of them. The cover of this is just, I can't get over how much I love this cover. It's gracious. gracious. Um, and the last book I ordered is actually for my son and that is If You Give a Cat a Cupcake. Um, he really loves this series. If you don't know, it's kind of in the series of 
if you give a mouse a cookie, things like that. He really fell in love with it after he discovered this YouTube channel called Ryan and Craig where they read children's books out loud and he loves them and they read a whole bunch of these. So I bought him his own. Um, I would normally get all of them from the library and I usually use the library a ton for him particularly, but right now I can't and I think he's gonna love these books anyway. He already does. So I'm like, I guess I should purchase them. So I'm gonna purchase them slowly. Next will be probably if you give him a moose muffin. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, that's my book mail. <laughs> Uh, for reading update, I'm on page 200 of Girl Gone Viral. Sorry, there you go. I always take the just jacket off. I will finish this today. My plan is to finish it today. Right now, I'm really enjoying it. It's going in the same vein as Happy Ever After Playlist um, did, as in, as in, I'm enjoying the companion novel much more than like the first novel because this is a companion novel to the right swipe. I like the right swipe. I didn't love it, but I am loving Girl Gone Viral, which is very odd. I usually never like a companion novel as much or more than the first one. So I don't know. But either way, I'll update you when I finish that. I think. Hopefully I'll come back today and update you. I need to be better at vlogging. Can you, Can you say hi? Hi. Say hi. Cookies. cookies. It's gonna be powdery. Pour this in there. And up. You wanna help? You wanna stir it? Stir it. No, you got to stir it. These are extremely. It's gonna be fun. Put these on the cookie sheet. Hello. Um, I'm here to update you. I finally finished. Girl Gone Vira by Alicia Rye, and I really enjoyed it. I would give this a four out of five, which makes my third four out of five in a row, but I'm okay with it because the three books I read before this were all three out of five. Is that a streak? I, I don't know. Um, either way, um, like I said with this book earlier, um, and this is a companion, not necessarily a sequel novel to The Right Swipe, also by this author. I enjoyed that one. I gave it a 3 out of 5. I didn't really like our main character much like this one. I feel like both of these books, they're both companion books. The main characters in both of the first books are a companion novel to them. I don't know. Um, the main characters were very, very snarky kind of just angsty, snarky, I didn't connect well with that. And this, the characters in these were much more like... I don't want to say gentle, but I, I, I don't know. I just like them more, I guess. So in this book, we follow Katrina. Katrina um, is Rhiannon's best friend who was in the first book. And she's a very private person. A lot of things have happened to her in her past that makes her very, very private. That she doesn't like to, she has like her own security. She has a lot of money due to her late husband that passed away. And you don't know much about her. One day she's at a coffee shop where she always goes to. And this guy wants to sit next to her. So she's like, sure, you know, she's trying to get out more she's trying to say yes to more opportunities and they strike up a conversation flirting happens he asks her out but she's not really feeling it so she says no and there's the end of that or so she thinks then she learns that she is viral on twitter and instagram because somebody was recording like somebody was taking pictures and like live tweeting their conversation using the hashtag like cafe bay and stuff like that and it just blew up because twitter um <laughs> and that normally wouldn't be a lot of, and that's a really big deal for for Katrina because she is, you know, private and stuff for a reason and she's trying to stay hidden for a reason. PS, um, PTSD really flare up so her bodyguard, Jay, decides to kind of just take her to his place that's back like in Northern California where his family has a peach farm and he knows to kind of get away for a couple days so she can figure out things to do and of course these two have been pining for each other for years and feelings emerge and it's just a really adorable romance. I loved it. Both our characters are very selfless, very giving. I love that so very much to see a relationship like that and just, I don't know, they were just were giving. They were like, they were hardworking, giving. They wanted really amazing things for the family and friends and I love that so much. Jazz, I'm sorry, Jazz is his name. Um, And Jazz is a former um, army veteran and he also has PTSD and they both are struggling with different forms of it and they really come together from it and it's just a beautifully told book. I would give it a four out of five. So both of these, like I said, are companion novels and I liked both of these more than the first book of them, which is not like me at all, but goodness me, I'm glad I stuck out with them because I didn't love the first books of these and I was like, I might read these and I'm so glad I did because I love them both and I will definitely be continuing on with the series. I don't know if this one's gonna have another book. I'm not sure. 
I don't know if this one's out of their book either, but I like them both. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap up this vlog. I really think this vlog was just kind of all over the place. I did read a lot though, so that's good. So the first book I read, I talked about the Happy Ever Playlist. I gave it a four out of five, really enjoyed it. Then I read The Worst Best Man by Mia Soso, also gave it a four out of five, really enjoyed it. And then I just talked about Girl Gone Viral. And then I also read a Net Galley book, but like I told you guys repeatedly, I'm gonna do a own Net Galley like video. I'm actually about to work on my Net Galley. I don't know why, like I've, I, I'm usually not that much in the neck alley, but I think now with all this time, I'm like, let me really perfect my neck. I don't know. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this reading vlog. I will be doing another one probably in May because I really want to vlog my experience reading Beach Read by Emily Henry because I'm just so excited about it. So if you're looking forward to that, let me know as well. And I hope you like this vlog. I always say they're boring, da, 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 but it is what it is. I hope you enjoyed it somehow. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.